was that? Power surge, maybe? Power surge wouldn't break glass. Or a scream, I guess. I'm gonna go back to class. Good idea. Me too. Teachers, lock down, lock down, lock down immediately. the hall. You think, Captain Obvious? Bathrooms? They don't lock. Well, we have to find somewhere. We can't just... Don. Follow me. Get out of the hall. Let's go. Follow. Come on. Do you think it's up with the gun? I didn't hear any gunshots. Quiet, you idiot. What, you trying to get us killed? A knife, maybe? Shh. Be quiet, Charlie. Your shushing is louder than our talking. Terrace? Has anyone tried to call the cops? Any of you have your cell phones on you? Mine's dead. That's weird. Mine, too. That's odd. Maybe whoever out there is something that can block our cell phones. Block our cell phones, maybe, but make them stop working all together? What can do that? An EMP. What's an EMP? It's an electric magnetic pulse. It kills all electronics. It's one of the effects of a nuclear explosion. So your explanation for our dead cell phones is that someone set off an A-bomb in the middle of school? <laughs> <laughs> the other things can cause it too. They have machines that can create an EMP without the explosion. Maybe that's it. This is crazy. This isn't a movie. We could be in some real trouble here. Yeah, what's with the sci-fi story? We don't need that right now. It's not science fiction, it's just science. They really have those machines. Who has them, Tommy? Foreign governments, terrorists, I don't know, the bad guys. Foreign terrorists? We don't even know who's out there. My dad was watching the news the other day. It was about terrorists, but it says regular Americans. We talk about splinter cells. Yeah, well, these groups, these splinter cells, Pose as regular people for years before they attack. There could have been someone at her school pretend to be a real student and just waiting for the right time to. Something, something has just occurred to me. What is it, Tommy? Well, it occurs to me that each one of us was collected by Mr. Van Ho in the hallway. Yeah, so? So, whoever was responsible for this lockdown was in the hallway. Yeah, that's why we got out of the hallway as quickly as possible. But whoever that is or was roaming the hall. If that is what's going on here. Whoever that was could have joined the group and Mr. Van Horn at any time. Whose is that? Are the phones working again? What's it say, Les? Um... It says... Six hours. Six hours until what? Uh... That's all it says. What's that mean? Um, I don't, I... Why is your phone working? Um... Who's that message from, Wes? Uh... It says... Fida. Fi what? F-I-D-A. Sounds Arabic. I don't know, Fida. It must be the wrong number. Right. Even though the rest of our phones are dead, 
Yours just happens to be working, and it happens to get the wrong number from an error. Well, I... Now, hold on a minute. Let's not go pointing any fingers just yet. Let's say it is an Arab name. That doesn't necessarily imply they're terrorists. Who's Fida, huh? What happens in six hours, Les? What's going on here? Tell us. Yeah, what about that, Les? Uh, I don't... Knock it off, Charlie. We don't need this right now. You would say that. What are you, huh? You look a little like one of them to me. I'm pretty sure there's been a few white killers too, Charlie. All the more reasons to suspect less. And black ones. Watch it. What happens in six hours, Les? Now hold on. The only thing I'm guilty of is getting a crazy text. And that's the only evidence you have. Well, let me tell you, once we start heading down this road, there's no turning back. And I sure as heck don't know what happens in six hours. He's right. Somebody's in the mistake. And my mind's the only person with a working cell phone. Maybe they won't even come out to the portables. Get away from that window. Am I the only one who wants to live around here? I just want to see what we're up against. Well, I don't. I want to keep breathing. Steve, get away from the window. They might see you. Only a couple minutes until. Maybe it's nothing. Or maybe it is. Maybe we should be ready just in case. Guys, I have to be. I wouldn't suggest it. Well, what's going on out there, anyways? I've got to go too, a little. We should probably think about what we're going to be doing in here if we have to stay here much longer. What are you plotting over there? I was just saying that we don't really know what's going on out there, and it's not necessarily a terrorist attack. Sounds just like what a terrorist would say. I was just thinking how it could be a group of kids who don't like school. Don't you be like that, Charlie? What are you getting at? Hey, didn't you get three Fs last quarter, Charlie? One F and two Ds. What's that got to do with anything? Yeah, Charlie, it seems like if there were anyone here who did something against the school, it'd be the kid of straight Fs. Plus, we know you could get weapons if you needed to. Yeah, Charlie, where'd you get a bat anyway? Oh, because I'm black? You think I automatically have weapons laying around my crib, right? Stick to the point, Plunky. People, people, quiet, quiet. Look. I told you there was nothing that was gonna happen. <gasps> Try to get in. What do we do? He's still breathing. How was I supposed to know? I didn't know who he was. 
What's the matter with you? I, I, I thought it was one of them. Maybe, but maybe you did to shut him up. Wait, wait. Now wait a minute, wait, wait. It's Tommy. Don't try to pass this off to me. Return to our normal lives. Thank you, Wasilla Middle School. Lockdown is over.